Konnichiwa, Mina the Stisker, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impression video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game. And that is E.T. Interplanetary Mission. Or also known in Europe as E.T. The Extraterrestrial, the 20th Anniversary. Here's something fun. This is the second lowest action game for the PlayStation 1. And it is the 8th lowest overall. The 8th lowest PlayStation 1 game. I'm excited. I mean, can it actually be as bad as the Atari game? Or not? So I'm very curious. So as far as I understand, you're playing as E.T. And you're going around saving plants from evil aliens basically what I understand of the game okay so as always Tim has to play the game first time playing the game or version of and I can't skip anything let's get the timer started timer started and away we go now loading okay new mission yes please Botanicus. Botanicus. Number one. So, let's go and play as E.T. to save the fauna from the evil aliens who don't want, um, plants on their world? But we are E.T., the tree-hugging alien from outer space. Who loves all plants? Okay, healing. Hold the hill. Collect. Oh my gosh, that better not be the only controls I have. Yay, I healed a plant. And another plant. And that plant. I healed all the plants. Um, Oh! I get it now. I'm actually supposed to collect them. Um, yeah, I, I understood that. <laughs> what the crap? Telekinesis. Use triangle to hold and move things. Makes sense. Oh, my lovely plant. I love you. Even though I am making fun of this game, I'm actually getting intrigued. Okay, I hear something bubbling in the distance. Yay, sliding animation. That's not terrible. Hmm. Okay. Heart stun, because he totally didn't have this ability in the movie. Or does the remake or remastered version have him with new powers? Hmm. And remove. E.T. killed something. He's supposed to be the nice guy. Wow. <gasps> okay, so that's what those mushrooms mean. Mushrooms are your life. So... It's just me, or would it would moving the flower telekinetically not kill the flower? I'm just saying, you know. I could be wrong, but yeah. 
Unless... He is... <gasps> wow. Able to... With a telekinesis... Make the flower live? Die, you. I will stop your heart uh, with my heart. I guess. Object artifact switch. Okay. Oh, I have... Can't get it. Whoa. Nope. Okay. Nope. No! I knew it! I knew it! Okay. Why? That makes no sense at all. Oh. So I can actually pick up items. Wait. Telekinesis. Pick up items. Telekinesis. Pick up items. I'm confused. He has telekinesis, but we still have to pick up things normal way. I'm not seeing the logic here, guys. I know that we had one more button, well, several more buttons, but doesn't mean you have to come up with stupid things to add on. If we already have telekinesis, then we'd use telekinesis to pick up everything else. Okay, I forgive you now. I thought it was actually going to be um, a barrel that I'm picking up. Okay, I can be nice now. I should probably try and fake his annoying voice when he's running, but then the people outside would probably be like, Are you okay? We know you're already weird, but, you know, didn't want to scare anybody. Oh, don't want to forget that. Yay, I'm now at five. And he's walking on his own. <laughs> yes, please. Save the memory card. I'm actually curious now because there's, um... It says that I that there's some, um... Soundtrack, you know, that I can listen to... 11, 11 tracks, so it's like, okay, what music is there? I'm not, I haven't heard any music yet, so, huh, it can be interesting. It's going to be like uh, Tomb Raider, where we actually get to listen to the movies, or our cutscenes. Then what type of cutscenes will we listen to? Because <laughs> he can only speak like this. Okay. Be good. Uh, do they really have to try to actually have him talk? 
Oh. All right. Well, I guess if it um uses the ambient noise in the background, it would be bad to have a track full of birds chirping and insects. You know, sometimes those are quite nice to have. If it's a thunderstorm, maybe even better, but you know, can't always get lucky. All right. Okay, so this thing's gonna jump up and try and kill me. Good to know. And there goes the timer. Okay. So, you know, I'll be honest. I was making fun of it because it's an ET game when I started playing. Then I got to actually seeing how the game plays. And it's a good search and collect game, in my opinion. It's intriguing enough to where I would actually sit down and try and beat this game. Because of how much there is to collect and having to use everything that you've been given to go through and try and collect everything. And... I do have to say, I found it intriguing enough to where I would seriously sit down and play this game. And it would be one of those that if I had some young, you know, if I had some, if I had my own kids or I had my niece or nephew over here and they're just, you know, starting out with games, this would be a great game to play with them because I'm already interested in wanting to see what else is going to happen. So that makes me happy to see that they took the time to make it catchy, if you will. Like, you know, to where you want to play it. True, it's not... I don't even want to say that, because it's not that it's n not spectacular, and it's definitely just using E.T. to make money. I mean, that's exactly what it's doing. But... I can see why some people would wouldn't like to play this game. And considering that there are some other games I have for the PlayStation 1 that would be considered an action game, but they're so broken it's hard to play the game. This one I haven't seen any glitches uh, that are bad, you know, for the game. So that makes me happy to see that they did take the time to make the game work so far. And I like that makes me wonder just how much harder can the game get and what else because one one other thing I saw on game facts was let's see what it said it says something about being hard okay and it's actually considered tough on difficulty and that is quite surprising it's not the hardest one, but it's still uh, 912th overall and 220th on uh, being the 220th easiest action game. But that still says something that at a 9 votes, it's still at a 33.33% uh, 33 on the tough. And I can see why. Because the game at first glance would be like, oh, it's an ET game, like what I did. And now that it's showing that there's going to be huge maps, collecting, making sure you don't die. It's a game that I honestly am not only am I happy just because it's ET, so I have a part of my collection, but now it's a game that I would actually sit down and play because the game was able to prove me wrong. 
it actually is going to be a good E.T. game. So there actually is in existence a good E.T. game. Wow, I actually said that. A good E.T. game. Marvelous. <laughs> so, yes, I, I would say pick it up just to give it a try and see how how hard this game could actually get. I'm actually looking forward to going through and finding that myself. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Tisa Kuro saying ciao and sayonara.